And now the um, issue of witchcraft, believe it or not. An Abu Dhabi woman who was sued for damaging the reputation of a man when she filed a complaint accusing him of practicing witchcraft was cleared in court for lack of evidence, which brings us to this practice. And with us now is Dr. Najad Al Said. Good evening to you. Good evening. How are you? Okay, I'm, I'm concerned about this witchcraft. How common is this in the uh, Emirates, for example? Well, uh, it is uh, important to uh, to set the law for something like this because people, unfortunately, like it or not, they do practice these things. Uh, some of them are unfortunately even educated ones, uh, just to hold to to be successful in certain matters or not. To cut this whole uh, witchcraft thing, uh, or the whole uh, what do you call it, um, the sorcery, uh, the the, uh, the uh, uh, actions, uh, there there's a, uh, a law. And UAE, anyone who who commits something like this, the punishment will be fifty thousand dirhams. Uh, Besides, there will be imprisonment for that. Uh, that if the uh, the person who did that is local, if uh, if the person who did that is a foreigner, um, uh, that will, the punishment will be paying the penalty of uh, the, the 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 financial penalty. Besides uh, ex uh, being expelled out of the country, and uh, according to the UAE public prosecution. Um, that was explained uh, to the public because this is very important issue. Uh, they don't want people to be out of the uh, Islamic law and uh, you know to um, to practice su such uh, uh, superstitions. So there was a film posted in the whole social media to make it public awareness of the Article 316 of the Federal uh, Penal Code. Anyone who commits uh, an act of witchcraft or uh, or sorcery is punished by imprisonment and fine of not less than 50,000 dirhams. Uh, so the whole thing is um, a very um, uh, clear. Uh, the witchcraft issue is considered sorcery as uh, conflagrating in people's eyes or controlling their senses or their hearts by any means to get them to see something contrary to the truth. With the intention of exploiting uh, or them or influencing their uh, their beliefs or minds, claiming knowledge of the unseen, knowing secrets or telling what is uh, uh, con what is the conscious by any means. So, according to cut to all of that, there was this kind of law and penalty for anyone who does this. Uh, when we say witchcraft, what are we talking about exactly? I mean, what what? kind of uh, you know ways you see this being uh, done really in real life well um, this is what uh, um, you know what I just mentioned about the conflagrating people's eyes or controlling their sense uh, they they play with people's senses uh, whether indirect or direct um, you know the, uh, the so, like fortune uh, telling directly. for example uh, that's yeah like fortune for telling or even they play with the other people's mindset uh, changing their senses their hearts sometimes they make a, a person imagine that something like this is happening sometimes they play it uh, they play it uh, with the with the nervous nerve system so, so some of what they're doing actually it affects uh, the the senses and the biological system especially the the neurology ne 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 neurology or yeah. neurological system and some of it no it's like uh, keeping you in the uh, illusion or like imagining things that are not happening. So it's like playing with the minds, with the hearts, with the senses, mm -hmm. yeah. in both ways, regardless whether it, whether it is direct or indirect, it is something dangerous and it has to be penalized. Well, you know, sometimes it can be a gray area. I mean, people play with people's minds, you know, even politicians play with people's minds. It could be a gray area. So it's 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 tough uh, uh, to uh, to prove this and and to make cases in court, isn't it? Of course, because uh, but the, like the case that that uh, uh, that was mentioned um, like lately in uh, in Al Khalij Times, um, the, uh, the the women claim that this person is actually uh, practicing witchcraft upon her, but uh, the fact that she doesn't have enough evidence, nothing happened to uh, uh, to him. But if she showed any kind of evidence, while these things, it's very hard to show evidence unless she caught somebody, you know, doing these things. Um, uh, but uh, but it is a gray area, as you said, because it it is very hard 
to gain an evidence. And usually in crime, uh, oh, the most thing that you want, you want an evidence. And in such crime, like it is a crime, uh, Jacob, it is a crime. But uh, but the fact that it is hard to get an evidence, uh, that's what makes it um, very hard to be proven. Uh, but uh, the fact that uh, the country in the UAE is like strict about it, it makes those who practice it at least afraid of doing it and to make their lives more difficult. And especially the penalty is so big. Yeah. Well, we talked about fake news. Now we're talking about fake projections, whatever it may be. Dr. Najad al said, thank you very much. Illusion. <laughs> thank you. It's all an illusion. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>